Hello everybody, welcome back to another video tutorial. In today's video tutorial, I'll be teaching everybody how to use the music visualizer within FUBAR 2000 in order to achieve a nice um, effect into your open broadcaster software for streaming. Now this can also be used in XSplit, but I will not be telling you how to chroma key that into XSplit, but if you have XSplit, you most likely know how to chroma key in general. If not, then you can uh, figure this out as yeah, somewhat similar to OBS. Now for those who are unaware of what um, a musical spectrum is, uh, it is pretty much looks like, as soon as I open you and click on that button, it looks like this. So a lot of people have been asking me how to, to do this for the streams because it, it's a really nice effect and, um, and these little bars are um, uh, correlate to the music. Um, They'll follow the music, they'll adjust to the music, they'll pretty much represent the music in these little bars. And they're really cool in the aspect of uh, spazzing up your stream and looking really awesome as... Uh, I use this for transitions, because this here is a switching game transition. I also have this for AFK, which for whatever reason, um, it's not properly positioned. Now it is. But yeah, and also for starting too. So yeah, I have this for all sorts of different uh, scenes here. Go you know, ahead and show off the my music. I have it where it says the music, uh, the bars, and other cool visual effects. So how to do this is very simple. I just need to have a program called Foobar 2000, which, by the way, I gotta go and get that over here. It's, as it's not opening, there we go. And turn the monitor capture over here. So, uh, FUBAR 2000 is a music player application, similar to iTunes, but much better as it uh, can play every uh, known uh, audio type in the universe, and it's a lot more customizable, and has really awesome plugins. Download it here on this website, link will be in the description. You'll also be needing uh, the plugin that allows the effect to happen, um, which is called the FUBAR Musical Spectrum plugin which you can download here, go to this form page, click on this, download it, press pizzazz. Then you'll um, also need this if you want to resize your windows to the exact same size I'm using. Uh, it's really helpful when adding it to OBS because um, you don't have to go and do some really weird re rescaling and other weird stuff and it will look a little better and that's just how I do it. But this is optional and you can resize the musical spectrum window to however you want. We'll get there when we get there, but you'll see what I mean. So once you have all three of those downloaded, you would go ahead and first of all, let me go and open up you, which I did not click on open. There you go. Well, I'll re-download it by mistake, oh well. You get the idea. So first of all, um, to install the FUBAR Musical Spectrum DL, you have to install it into the components folder of your um, program. Now, first of all, before we go there, I'll be giving you this quick disclaimer that I will not be installing it into the program files x86 foodbar2000 directory, which is the default directory it will install by default. The reason is because this is already customized and has everything set up and I don't want to ruin it. But luckily I can install multiple versions of foodbar2000, so that's good. So, and also, and also if you're curious how I get this to look exactly like this, it will be a video tutorial down below from Tech Syndicate. Explain everything, everything you need to know how to make FUBAR 2000 look beautiful and awesome like this. And also we'll get to how to make it look like the music visual look, look like this too. And let me get my this thing over. Okay, there. So we're going to use this, but uh, the same principle for directories will be similar to the one I'm using here over here. Let me close over, over this one. So this here is FUBAR 2000's directory. Um, all you gotta do and care about is this folder here called components. Open that up and you'll see all sorts of DLLs um, in order of them. As all you gotta do is go ahead and install the FUBAR Musical Spectrum. I already have it installed here because I was trying to record this tutorial earlier, but hey, replacing it won't do any harm. So uh, once you have it installed, uh, you can go ahead and open the program up and it will look somewhat like this. I'll full screen it for you for just being able to see it a little easier. So. With this program, uh, it will look as pretty much exactly like this. It will not have any music imported because you would have to import it yourself. Um, a quick 
and here's how you add music if you're curious. You can either go ahead, go to preferences, and go to media library and uh, add a folder somewhere to monitor and this will import all your music. You can go ahead and search it up and do whatever you need. Uh, you can also drag music in here to play it. Um, I would recommend looking up some tutorials how to actually set up FooBar 2000 to your liking, but in this case I assume you already somewhat know how this program works as its simple basics. But for now, uh, what I did is I just decided to go ahead and load a playlist from my other FooBar 2000 instance that I customize that has all sorts of are all my music here that we're going to use for the uh, simplicity of this is just easier to do. Okay, so enough of the long explanation. What we should do in order to get the music visualized, we go to uh, view visualizations music call spectrum. This will show up um, if you go ahead and install it properly. So open this thing up and it will look exactly like this. The window may be a little smaller. Uh, that's only because I resize it using the sizer program that um, I downloaded, which I have it to a specific resolution. If you want it to be the exact same resolution, add a new one and do these exact settings and press the bazaars. But you can adjust this to whatever you want yourself if you desire. But this is how I have it set up. So once I have it to the window uh, size I want, I should right click, go to options, and then you'll see a lot of various options. This may seem a little confusing at first, but it really isn't. So what you should do is first of all, uncheck everything over here except for bar spacing. Just because bar spacing will make the bar space a little bit and not as cluttered and in my opinion looks better. And also uncheck black keys so that you'll only have a solid background and will be much better. Uh, so, next step is go and customize your music bar. So let me go and just click play. By default, what it'll look like is it will look like this. So this is the full color scheme. It's ugly and there's a couple other options if you go over here for the defaults and eh, they're okay I guess, but I, I'm not the biggest fan of them. So what I do personally is just go to vertical A and then change it just to whatever I want. Now keep in mind, if you want to go ahead and chroma key the background, um, it must be a color that you're not using over here. So in this case, uh, I can use black and chroma key into OBS and it will work perfectly fine. Uh, but in my case, I'm using a black grayish, so I would have to go ahead and use a different color like green since that's not in the colors that I'm using. So customize this to however you desire. Um, this is up to you. Uh, I'm not going to dictate what you want to go ahead and customize as it's your stream and not mine. Assuming if you're doing this for Twitch or um, any live streaming service, you could be doing this for another uh, reason and using OBS or XSplit. But hey, that's your decision, not mine. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, open up my personal um, preset. Now before I open that up, I'll also tell you once you're happy with your preset, you should export it and save it to a file just in case it gets deleted. But in my case, I'll just be importing mine because that's a lot easier than recustomizing this as I'm lazy. So as you see, this is what it looks like when you're finished. Uh, so this is my colors that I picked out. And then I also change the background over here to the color that I want to use, which is green, since I want to chroma key it. Okay, and since I forgot to mention what this is, this is called peaks. Uh, we'll have these little peak things over here. Um, you'll either like it or hate it. I'm not a big fan. I have that off. And that's all you got to do really for customizing the spectrum options. So you can click OK and then we can go to OBS. Now, First of all, keep in mind that I'm using the OBS Classic right now to do this uh, t tutorial. Now, keep in mind, let me delete this because that's uh, something useless that I was testing out earlier, that uh, you'll see this here, so you know that. So, what you gotta do to add this is to do a window capture and call it anything you want. I call it music because why not? Second of all, deselect the capture mouse cursor option. Make sure you're selected to Music Spectrum, which should be this window here. Uh, go ahead and click on Use Color Key, click on Select, and then select the color of your background. Go to go back to OBS, and then click on OK to see what you did. Click on Edit Scene, and you can move this around. 
So that's what it, you see here. And you may see there's a little green lines and stuff, uh, which I want to turn this off just for simplicity. To change that, you go back to properties, and then you go and just change similarity to whatever uh, number, it, or just keep changing it until um, the green goes away. For me, 782 looks like it works well without any green issues, so I click on that. Also, sorry about that, um, OBS was uh, having some issues. So, uh, as I was saying, um, but yeah, uh, that's what it looks like there. You, it can be transparent if you want, if you can go to properties, and then you can change opacity to like 50, and then it looks like that. So that's what you do, if you're curious on how that works. So I'm going to go and turn that off and then move you back over here. So to do it with OBS multi-platform, for those curious with how multi-platform works, um, pretty much do the same thing, but slightly do the same thing with adding a window capture, call it whatever you want, like music, if I can spell music properly, go to OK, select over to FUBA2000, and make sure you don't have capture cursors on, because that will be weird and unappealing. Uh, go to filters, and then add a filter, name a color key. Go to custom, set color, go to pick color, pick your color, click OK. Um, and then increase similarity until the green's away. Um, around here and a little bit less smoothness is what's going to work. Customize it until this works for you because it may be slightly different. And decreasing you slightly looks slightly better idea. There you go. And then press the bazaars, it works in here and it's transparent in the background and everything should work uh, fairly well. So I'm going to turn off the music here by going to you. Alright, so that's all you got to do if you're curious on... Uh, curious. Uh, <laughs> you can't tell, I've been trying to do this tutorial for a while and I keep messing up and having this really long, so... Thank you everybody for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding how this works and or my setup in general, leave them below and maybe I'll make a video on that. And sorry this video may be a little rambly. I've been trying my best not to ramble this but and do it like without any scripts, but oh well. Maybe I'll do a script for the next video and make it less rambly to keep me on track. But anyways, thanks all for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, whatever, um, go and tell me your thoughts, concerns, all that stuff in the below. And as I'll see you all later.